thank you again for joining us for another Avian Home Adventures. My name is McKenna, and today we are going to be doing arts and crafts with two of our lovely black vultures, Igor and Tombstone. So this lovely lady that you guys will see first, her name is Tombstone, and she has been trained on how to paint. We tried doing a painting episode earlier on in our Avian Home Adventures, but she wasn't in the mood to paint then. You know artists, right? They have to be in the mood, have their muse ready. So hopefully today Igor, or Tombstone, has something interesting she would like to paint. So the paint we have here is the same paint that your kids use to finger paint. It's non-toxic water-based paint. So if it stays on her feet a little bit, um, that's just fine. She is ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what you can do. Paint. Good. So she has been trained to walk through the paint and then walk on the canvas. Paint. You, you know what to do. There we go. Paint. If you have, if you guys have any questions while McKenna is doing some training, feel free to chime in and post your questions in the comment. If we don't get to answer them during this video, we um, will go back and look at those and check on those questions. So she first learned how to paint, good, by following a target stick through the paint and onto the canvas. Good. And so she kind of drug her feet. She didn't really know what she was supposed to be doing. So, paint. She <laughs> is very eager to paint today. Um, so we slowly tried um, to get her to step through the paint on purpose and then step directly on the canvas to get some nice clear footprints and to cover the whole thing. Okay. Try and even out the paint here. She keeps stepping in the same spot. And so we've actually gotten some really cool paintings. Each one is unique, each one is different uh, that Tombstone has done. Paint. You missed the paint completely. You need your <laughs> pumpkin eater. Paint. She is Good. hilarious. It is a lot of fun to watch these guys. Um, I love watching um, McKenna train with them and work with them. You can see a lot of those wheels turning in their head and it's up to us as trainers to figure out how to better communicate with our birds and give them the right information to do the behaviors we'd like them to do. Yeah, so here Ooh. is Tombstone's masterpiece. Again, each one is different, each one is unique, um, and they're a lot of fun to do. Now there is one color that Igor does, or that Tombstone does not like to walk through, <laughs> and that is orange. She tends to walk around orange a lot. She'd rather step on actually the cooler colors. She really likes, or at least how I interpret her liking, to step on the blues, the purples, um, and especially the greens. She gets really good footprints with greens and blues. Um, so when I do mix the warm colors, I try and create a little bit more of a um, mixture. These guys can see in the full color spectrum. So she knows red and blue, and she can tell the difference um, between the different colors. If you guys are interested in buying a vulture painting, they are for sale. Once we open again, hopefully it will be soon. We miss seeing you guys in person. Um, you can uh, check out all of Tombstone's paintings. And all of the proceeds of the paintings actually go to uh, something called the Peregrine Fund. And they help vulture conservation down in Africa. So Tombstone's helping out her cousins down in Africa by doing these awesome paintings. All right, so we have another vulture to show off a cool talent, um, and she has learned colors. So again, these guys can see in the full color spectrum, uh, but I've taught Igor the word blue is associated with the color blue, and the word green is associated with the color green, um, and then she also knows red. But with staying at home, I haven't had time to keep up with these color trainings yet, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, she usually is pretty consistent, but you never know. Each training day is different. So I have two different colored discs. And she should go to the blue disc when I say blue and go to the green disc when I say green. 
again, it's been a while. We'll see if she remembers. Um, but this is really good to get her thinking. These guys have the average intelligence of a four-year-old human, which is actually really intelligent for a bird. So even if she doesn't get it right, she's thinking about it. Um, and you'll see if she doesn't get it right, she'll um, brainstorm and kind of figure out what the right answer is. So we're going to take her out and see if she can do some colors for us. Good. Yeah, yeah, I can adjust however and move Perfect. however I need to do. Sure so you'll notice that our other vulture is in this little room. So McKenna has trained this room behavior, this shifting behavior. So that way she can have one bird out at a time and put all of her focus on that one bird. Um, makes the training sessions a lot easier to manage when you don't have two birds trying to compete for, you know, painting or, or doing this color behavior here. It also makes it um, easier for you to make sure they get the correct amount of food. Yep, they it's very important. They food and will eat all the food she can get. I haven't said anything. <laughs> She's, like, She's like, I'm ready to go, ready to go. Okay. Blue. Blue. Something cool you guys will notice is when McKenna is reinforcing or feeding her, then she's making kind of a cavity out of her hand. And so that's going to mimic, Green. you know, the cavities that they would eat out of in the wild. Green. It's a little bit easier for them to eat that way. Green. Good. So you guys kind of saw she problem solved. She didn't get reinforced for walking to the blue one, so she walked to the green one instead. Green. Think again, if you guys have any questions, just put those in the chat. Um, we're going to kind of just keep quiet and let McKenna focus on her training. Blue. Good. I did see that somebody was asking Green. what if the paint gets in their mouth. And so, um, again, that paint that we use for our birds Green. is non-toxic. It's a water-based paint, so it's a finger paint. And um, they very rarely get that in their mouth. They might occasionally touch it, but they're not ingesting a Green. large amount of it. Good. Oh, you little stinker. Green. Good. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for watching. We love our vultures. And this is definitely a process. Um, that McKenna has worked through and again she hasn't been here for <laughs> for a little bit off and on our schedules have been a little weird so our, our training hasn't been super consistent um in that aspect so well yeah McKenna will probably have to build up a little bit more on this behavior but we have seen success with it and so it's just about us backtracking a little and trying to give her more information on what that correct response is. And we're hoping that she'll start putting some of those pieces together. Yeah. But regardless, it's still a very enriching thing for our birds. You know, even if, you know, she doesn't fully understand what is, what is green or what is blue, she is associating um, some different cues on us or different signals to go to different areas. And that's still very stimulating for her. And again, we haven't been able um, to consistently come in and do these one-on-one -on -one training sessions with the birds. We've mainly um, just been giving them food, cleaning the enclosures, and that's about it. So today uh, was a good day to kind of take the time to get that one-on-one -on -one training and get those brains stimulated again uh, for the different training sessions. Again, she does know red, green, and blue. She knows those three colors. She consistently went to each color when I said the right, or went to the right color when I said the color. But again, that behavior um, needs to be used multiple times and I haven't had a chance to do that quite yet. Yeah, they definitely know their colors though and they are super capable of learning and learning so many different things. 
I don't yeah, my goal is to see how many colors we can identify using the words. Um, so I'll be curious to see yeah, if we can get a whole plethora of colors learned by these guys. Now, thank you guys so much for joining us for these. If you're interested, Saturday is World Migratory Bird Day. And usually we do something really cool on site. We have a lot of activities. We have a lot of uh, different things that visitors can do. But we're still not open. So instead, we have a lot of really neat online things planned. So if you guys uh, follow us on Facebook, um, feel free to look at our page that day. And we have, again, a bunch of different activities, cool different bird videos. And one of those activities is an art contest. So as you can see, Tombstone is probably going to submit her art. But if you guys pick a favorite bird that you, um, <laughs> she's like, is there any leftovers around here? They're definitely tactile creatures. And very curious. Um, so yeah, art contest. If you guys have any, if you guys want to do a drawing, a painting, a poem about any migratory bird, we really encourage you guys to do that. Show off how cool birds are, not just our awesome raptors. So we have Tim Stone's painting that we're going to submit. Um, so keep an eye out both on our website and our face page for World Migratory Bird Day. It should be a lot of fun. And we're really excited to keep showing off our birds to you guys um, virtually. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And we will see you again tomorrow.